So I'm going to show an alternative to what we did before. You'll notice that we still have the lines here and we still have the image in place. You'll remember that I had said that it would be great to be able to make the image transparent. I have an idea about that. Let's create a new layer called Image 2. And what I'm going to do here is uh, use the image as a texture. And we'll see how that works here in a second. One of the things I want to take advantage of is when I draw a line or rectangle, in this case, on a particular layer, it gives me the color of that layer. And that's a great way of visually organizing your file as well. So maybe we can use that property and uh, use the transparency function of those layers as well. So we're going to take that image and turn it as a texture map. I'm going to turn this layer off where the image is, move to our new layer, and instead of that orange, we're going to switch it to that. You'll notice that it's reversed, so what do we do? We reverse faces, and that looks great, I think. And this is the exciting part. I can reduce the opacity, and now I have a, a sort of tracing file that I can use. Turn it off, turn it on. So I'm going to uh, purge that layer that the image is on here in a moment. I'm also going to delete those lines that we already did, which I, I know is a little bit painful to do the rework, but I want to do it a different way and a more organized way. I think you'll appreciate it. Okay, a little cleanup before we start. I'm going to delete that unused layer. I'm going to rename this layer to the old layer. It makes more sense. And I'm going to switch to my 00, zero layer, which is the water body or lake. I'm going to use the freehand, but I've got a problem. So sticky, or I'm sorry, SketchUp is sticky. And that means items stick to each other, and when you want to move them, it makes it really difficult. One way around that I have found is to create or make a component out of that face, in this case, uh, the image map. So I'm going to name it image map. And you'll see, I think, now when I draw with a free hand, the, the uh, line does not stick to the face like it did before. That probably doesn't make sense, but believe me, when you run into this problem, it's really infuriating to try and move something without stretching your model out of face. So a couple of tricks here that you'll learn. Um, that line just turned red for a second. That means it's on the x-axis and I went up there to um, snap to that point. As you can see this layer has turned the uh, layer color and we're going to do it again. Now this time I'm going to try and uh, draw the line first, line up with it, and then I'm going to draw a freehand line. And I have a problem this time in lining it up with the freehand uh, command. It doesn't quite work well. And, you know, some people that might be okay, but for your teacher, it's uh, not as clean as it could be. So I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to draw a line on the left side. And I'll draw a line on the right side. And then I'll go to my freehand line. And I should be able to snap to those endpoints pretty easily, and thereby creating a face in the color of the new layer, which is purple in this case. We'll do it one more time. So again, it's tedious to watch somebody do this, but I wanted to give you at least three examples using this method. And the next time you see this image, the flat work will all be completed and we will 
do the fun thing of pulling up all the topos to their correct heights. And I think you'll see where all of this organization came in handy for us.